In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce one page checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our WordPress page and this is the setup that we're gonna be creating today. So here we've got a one page checkout. So we've got a sales page essentially um, pitching our product and then we've just got the one page checkout form here. So we can edit the checkout fields, we can customize the design and we can also enable our multi-step checkout. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, then the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's currently free and in beta mode. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and the second step is to go ahead and upload the plugin in which we've just downloaded. So we'll go plugin, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you've just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. Go ahead and click on it. So we're just gonna create our checkout fields and customize the design here. And then we will go ahead and create our sales page um, using our preferred method, whether that's Gutenberg, whether that's Elementor or something else, I'll show you exactly how to do so. Okay, so in your case, you'll go ahead and click create new checkout. I've already created one beforehand to help speed up this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the checkout in which I created earlier. Okay, so here we are. So by default, you'll have um, a few default fields. So you'll have your billing section, your shipping section, and your shipping method, payment method, and also order summary, which I've deleted. Okay, so a few things. To add new fields, we'll go ahead and click on this settings icon here. And to simply add a new field to the page, we can just go ahead and drag and drop it here. And we can add multiple fields onto our um, checkout. Okay, we can also rearrange it. And if we wanted to customize the label, or let's say, for example, if it was a checkbox, um, not a checkbox, let's say a multi checkbox, okay? So we'll add it here. Okay, so in this case, to customize this multi checkbox, we'll just go ahead and click on this settings icon here for this individual field. Okay, and then we'll go to options and then we can add our various different options. Um, for appearance, we can adjust the width or we can add a CSS class here for custom styling. We can add a placeholder as well. So we can select half width, um, a third and also full width. So all these fields, which I've just added, I'm gonna go ahead and delete them. <laughs> Okay, and if there's any default fields that you didn't want, so let's say for example, if you didn't want um, this phone field, you just go ahead and click the eye icon to hide it and you can hide an entire section as well. So for this section, we can go ahead and click on this icon here and it will hide this entire billing section. So you can go ahead and customize your checkout fields to suit your business needs. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Okay, so I've disabled our shipping section because on our demo here, what we've done is we've forced users to ship to their billing um, address. But in your case, if you didn't wanna do that, you can go ahead and enable the shipping details here. I'm gonna leave it disabled for now. So I've just added a heading here. So if we click on this icon, let's X this off. And I've just added a heading here and then I just labeled it um, shipping address and that will help break up our um, billing details. Um, but again, since I've already got it um, above, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Um, I'm gonna disable our phone number. Um, our shipping section's already disabled. If we want it as well, we can add a order summary. So I've just added a new section, which just showed up here. And then let's go ahead and add our order summary. Okay, we'll add our order summary here. And let's name this section um, order summary. Okay, and then let's go ahead and save changes and check out our page. And don't worry, I'll show you how you can get this checkout onto a particular page to create your one page checkout. For now, we're just editing our checkout fields and our user flow. And if you wanted as well to create a multi-step checkout, you'll just go ahead and click this plus icon here and you can create multiple steps and drag and drop the different sections into that step. So now let's go ahead and customize our sales page and I'll show you how you can add this checkout onto that sales page. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this page here. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. 
Okay, and to create my sales page, I used um, Gutenberg. Again, you can use um, Divi, you can use Elementor or whatever page builder you prefer. For this tutorial though, I'm just using Gutenberg. Okay, so here's our design. So it's pretty basic. So we've got a few different columns. We've got our headline here. Um, we've got a, let's say this is our VSL, our video sales letter, or it could be a product image. Um, and then over here, this is where we've added our checkout. Okay, and then we've just got some sales copy down here. But to incorporate the checkout into your sales page, all you have to do is go ahead and click this plus icon. If you just search for AIO, you'll find the all-in-one checkout widget. Go ahead and click on it. And then from here, you can go ahead and select your checkout form. If you've got multiple, um, depending on what you named it, you can just go ahead and select it from this option here. So if I head back into our dashboard here, so I forgot to mention when we go to settings, we can go ahead and name our checkout. So this will come in handy when we're creating multiple different sales page. So we can identify our different checkout form. Okay, so let's head back over to this page. Again, since I've already got it here on this page, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this block here. Okay, and then you just go ahead and update and then you'll be able to see your um, one page checkout on the front end. Let's say, for example, if you don't wanna use Gutenberg, so we can come over here to all-in-one checkout and then if we hit this back button here, so where it says recent checkout fields, we can see all the different um, checkout forms you've got in the system. This is one I've just created. So under the actions button, if we go ahead and click get short code, it will copy the short code. And then let's say for example, you used in um, Divi or whatever it is, then you can just go ahead and paste the short code in which it's just copied and then you'll be able to see your checkout form. Okay, so one last point that's worth mentioning. Um, since it's a one page checkout, you might want to enable cart editing. And to do that, we'll just go ahead and click on this settings area here. And then we'll just click enable cart editing. And this will, since there isn't a cart page, this will allow users to edit items within their cart. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit save changes. And now when we go ahead and refresh this page, so we should be able to edit all these items in our cart. Okay, and now we've got this edit field so we can edit the quantities within our basket. So now the styling by default, it will inherit um, your default theme styling. You might need to tweak it um, slightly. In the future, we'll create um, different templates and that way it will ensure that the styling will look exactly um, like our templates. So another thing worth mentioning is if we head back over to all-in-one checkout here, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this checkout, which we've been working on. So we've got this product option here. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this plugin's currently in beta mode, but in future you'll be able to automatically um, populate different products onto this um, checkout form by default. But again, this feature will be available to you soon. You'll also have the option to add um, order bumps, post checkout upsells, and so much more. And that's how you create a WooCommerce one page checkout in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.